to my channel. This is my last Halloween tutorial and it is a clawed face using SFX makeup like latex and fake blood and I love the way it turned out. I think I want to be this for Halloween. I'm not sure. Such a hard decision. So first I'm taking a white eyeliner pencil and I'm drawing out where I want my claw marks to be on my face. And I wanted three claw marks. Um, I'm not sure why three but I didn't want it to be too less or too much claws on my face and I wanted to make it look like I went into the forest and like a bear clawed my face or something. Now I'm taking my liquid latex and I got mine from Trade Me, it's from the brand Makeup Plus and I'm using an old beauty blender sponge and then I'm just pouring the liquid latex in this little pot and then I'm putting it on top of those lines that I draw on my face. What you want to do is grab some toilet tissue and rip it up in a thin strip like this and then put it on top of the liquid latex and then just rip off the edges where there's no liquid latex underneath and then what you want to do is you want to saturate that on top with liquid latex as well You want to make sure that there's no edges showing and that the whole tissue is covered with um, liquid latex. So then I'm putting the liquid latex on the other scratch and then I'm putting the tissue on and then I'm ripping the top bit off and then I'm doing it on the bottom again. And then I'm covering that with liquid latex again. You want to make sure everything's covered, no edges are sticking up or no tissue is showing. Make sure it's all covered with latex. And then what you want to do is do another layer of tissue to make it extra thick. So I've put some more liquid latex down and then I'm going to get another strip of tissue and then lay it on top of those claw marks. And then you want to cover the liquid latex on top of the tissue again. So now onto the third claw. I'm just putting it down through my nose and then I'm um, ripping up thin pieces of tissue and sticking this on top of the liquid latex and then doing the same method and covering the whole thing with liquid latex and then going over it with another layer of tissue and then going over it with liquid latex again. Then I'm taking some Aegis Derma powder. You want to take some loose powder and put this on top of your claws. This will like dry up the liquid latex and it kind of made it change colour as well because it was a skin tone powder that suits for my fake tan. And then I want to take a darker foundation and the reason why you want to take a darker foundation is because the toilet paper is so white so this will darken it up a lot. Um, so yeah, I'm putting that all over and just stipping that in with a foundation brush. Then I'm taking a lighter foundation and you can see the difference in colour here. And it's because the foundation I did put on before looked a bit too orange and I wanted it to match my skin tone a bit more so I'm putting on my normal foundation on top. I'm making sure to blend it out the sides as well so it blends in with my skin as much as possible. And then I'm going over with that Aegis Derma powder to set that foundation. Then what you want to do is take a sharp pair of scissors and you want to poke at the liquid latex and no I did not harm myself or cut myself. This looks really sore but I trust me it isn't. The tissue paper and the latex is so thick and it's really hard to rip so it looks like I'm being rough but you kind of have to be around the latex, you just have to be really careful of your skin underneath but it's kind of hard to get at your skin so don't really worry too much um, but I'd recommend going in with a little pair of sharp scissors, some tweezers or a little um, spatula and I'm just cutting up the sides up here, I'm digging the scissors underneath the latex and just cutting right up um, where the sharpest bit of the scissors is and then it cut it really easily Then to blend that 
um, foundation and even more it looked just still a bit too dark because I have no fake tan on so I'm quite pale so I put some white face paint on top just to lighten up um, those latex foundation tissues up a bit more and I'm making sure to um, cut those claw marks out a bit more as well just to make it look more wider instead of just a little slit um, because I want the blood and stuff to be exposed a bit more and then I'm taking the BH Cosmetics Take Me To Brazil palette in this red colour and the black colour and I'm filling in the cuts with these colours. Then I'm taking this purple and this blue and I'm going to create bruising around the claw marks with these colours. And I'm just taking a small brush and just kind of dusting it around the claw marks. Then I'm taking a red and I'm putting that around the claw marks as well. And then I'm taking this Ben Nye Scare Blood. This is like the best thing I have brought for Halloween tutorials. It just goes with everything. I love it. It's like really thick, scabby blood. And I'm putting this in with a small brush and I'm just building it up in those cuts to make it look all gruesome and bloody and fleshy. I'm making sure to get right under those skin flaps just to hide any white or skin colour underneath there. And then I'm taking some fake blood from the $2 shop and I'm pouring this in the cuts as well. This blood was much darker so it's just going to add some depth and some more um, darkness into those cuts. So the concealer I'm using today is the Maybelline Atrial Wine and I love this concealer. It used to be my favourite. It goes on so easily and makes my pimples hide away and my dark circles um, hide away as well and then I'm using this LA Girl Matte Lip Cream in Dreamy and it's the most amazing colour. I love it so much. You can get these products from Glitzy M and you can actually use the code Alicia10 to get 10% off and that is a permanent code so I'll leave all the links down below. So this is the finished makeup look. I love the way it turned out. It was quite simple to do even though it looks quite complicated and yeah you can really scare people with this makeup look on Halloween. So don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I upload every Monday and I'm trying my best to put all my hard work and effort into my channel for you guys. So don't forget to give it a thumbs up and leave me a comment down below and I will see you guys in my next week's video. Bye!